hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we're going to go through a little bit more of some practice on a couple of orders of operation questions. Okay, so just to refresh what we've been doing is orders of operation, and a helper key would be parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, whichever is closest to the left, add or subtract, whichever is closest to the left. Now remember, we have to do each as steps. So we're going to go through some of these harder level questions. This is more like seventh and eighth grade style orders of operation, and maybe even some in ninth grade. So we ask ourselves the first question, and I'm going to walk you guys through this. So it'll feel, it might feel a little babyish, but this is the way that you should really think about this. And hopefully uh, my voice will carry in your head and you can follow these steps. Are there parentheses? And we say yes. So we underline those and we solve that part. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And the process here is we write down everything else that we did not use and we did not, we did not uh, touch. And now that blue line no longer exists. It's now this black line. So then we ask ourselves, are there more parentheses? And then we say no. So P is done. So now we look at E. Are there any exponents? And yes, exponents. Remember, this is your base. This is your exponent vocabulary wise. Now remember, this right here on a side note means 2 times 2 times 2. That 2 to the third power means a base of 2 written 3 times with multiplication signs in between. So 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. We solve that and we write down everything else that we did not use. Now, as tedious as this is, uh, it's super important. So then you look at this third line down and you say, is there any more exponents? And the answer is no. So we're done with the P, we're done with the E, we're now into the M and the D. So then we say, okay, out of multiplication or division, which one is closest to the left if there even is any? And yes, there's multiplication that comes first and then there's division. So we do eight multiplied by three, which is 24. We bring down everything else that we did not touch. And then we ask ourselves in this next line, is there more? And yes, we established that there was some division. So we do nine divided by three next, which gives us three. We write down everything else we did not touch. And then we say, hey, is there any more multiplication or division? No. So our P is done, our E is done, our M and D step is done. Now we have our A and our S, whichever is closest to the left. Now, addition is closest to the left, but if this were subtraction, this would be done first. However, it's addition. So 24 plus 4 is 28. And then we bring down everything else we did not use. And 28 minus 3 is 25. That's that. Now I'm going to move the screen down so we have the full, this full part down here. All right, here we go. We ask ourselves, are there any parentheses? And yes, there is. Now this is a little tricky. See how this exponent is here? It's not inside the parentheses. So we have to solve this parenthesis first and then raise it to the second power. So we're going to do our parenthesis. We get four. We bring everything else down we did not use. Notice how that exponent is now part of that parenthesis answer. That's because it is touching the answer to the parenthesis. So we ask ourselves, is there more, is there more parentheses? And there's not. So we go to our exponents. 4 times 4, remember, 4 written twice with time signs. That makes 16. We write down everything else we did not use. Now this is annoying. I get it, but we still have to do it. We underline our next step, which is multiplication or division, whichever is closest to our left, and our left is multiplication. We write that down. We bring down everything else that we did not use. Oops, that's a minus sign. And then we look and we say, is there any more multiplication or division? There is. So we get our answer here of eight. We bring down everything else we did not use. Our final steps are adding and subtracting, and the, the response above was whichever one comes closest to the left in that step, and that would be the addition. So then we would get our 14, and then we do 14 minus 5, which would give us our 9. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, 
and I love math and diet coke.